It is. It's not only strikingly similar, it actually is a virtual reality. I know it's difficult to think about it that way, but I've tried to boil down what I think is the essence of a lot of modern psychological work, a lot of modern neuroscience work, as well as philosophical traditions and religious and spiritual traditions to the point that they meet. And that is in Christianity or whatever, people say, well, shun the world or the world is an illusion, etc. In neuroscience, it deals with the complexity of the computations by which we simplify the world. The simple fact is the world is trillions of times more complicated than we experience it. And in order to get through the day, in order to avoid cars or previously presumably avoid tigers, we have to cut it down and every organism has to cut it down to a manageable entity uh, wherein we can work. And that's why every organism, including us, have a virtual reality. Well, there's that trillion word that I'm struck by because, uh, of course, we hear it about the Iraq War, but you, <laughs> early on in the in the book, say only one trillionth of reality makes it to consciousness. And, in fact, uh, you say we're immersed in this tiny chamber of self-delusion. The mind is all about, well, the job of the mind is survival, but it's also about illusion. Well, it has to be, because if you saw and experienced everything when you were crossing a street, you would never get across the street. Uh for instance, um, there's a lot of information in the air uh, that you never experience, that you know exists because we have radio waves, we have the microwaves that uh, color cover television, uh, we have lots of sound waves or pressure waves that we never hear. Every organism gets tuned differently by design to the niche of the world that it's supposed to inhabit. Ours is greater than most, but Let's put it this way. One trillionth of the information that hits your eye actually gets transmitted to the brain, and we cut it down much, much further. So it's way, way more than uh, less than a trillionth of reality that we exist in. We have to do it. We have to focus on those few things that are important to our survival, and that's where the world is an illusion comes from. It's an illusion, but it's an illusion that we've all constructed so that we can live. But we're not our mind, you say. Did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show me. Uh, we're not our mind, um, really. Um, we're uh, a concomitant of a lot of different forces, uh, some of which happened long ago in biological evolution, some of which happen in social evolution, and some of which happen every day. You can think of it this way, as I did at the beginning of the book, trying to introduce it as sort of a first book. Think of it graphically as, and Michael Frain, who's the famous playwright, also uses this in one of his new books. Think of it as two overlapping circles. One is the circle of the world, and the second is the circle of us. Where they overlap, which is a very, very thin ellipse, is the world that we live in. And we we don't really see the world as it is. Think of it as you're listening to this, you're not paying attention, say, to the weight of your body against the chair. While you're listening to this, even if you're driving, you've blinked probably um, 60 times uh, a minute. Uh, but there's no interruption when you blink. Now stop noticing you're blinking if you're driving now, but the world doesn't get interrupted. So we obviously project some sense of a continuing reality when we don't really have it. We're like magicians then. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's right. It is an illusion, but it's not a complete illusion. That is, it's more of a selective illusion. We pick out those aspects that we need. By we, I mean all organisms and us in general. Um, we got to avoid a car. We had, we had to avoid tigers. We had to find food. We had to find shelter. We had to mate. Um, so there's a very radically simple way that we look at the world, which is why I thought in modern terms the idea of a virtual reality makes much more sense. It is a virtual reality. It's just that's the reality that we live in. 